Whether it's a relaxing bath, lighting some scented candles, or a little yoga, we all love a good self-care routine. But what if we told you that your finances deserve a little pampering too? School's first federal credit union is here to show us how to give our money the same TLC we give ourselves. Here to help soothe our minds and manage our money, we have Brittany Owens, financial education specialist for School's First Federal Credit Union. Hey. Hey, how are you doing? I'm today? doing good. You know, we're like welcoming fall as it slowly trickles in. The weather's a little cooler today. So mm -hmm. we're feeling that TLC, that self-care we want to do. But tell us about financial self-care and how it's similar to the self-care we already kind of do for ourselves and love. Yeah, so financial <laughs> self-care is just doing the same thing, giving our finances some TLC. Yeah. Um, with this financial care, we're gonna be setting some financial goals for ourselves. It's not always about pinching the pennies, crunching the numbers. Mm -hmm. It's just having a healthy relationship with our finances mm -hmm. and setting those goals that we're ready to accomplish. All right, that sounds like a refreshing approach. So to money management especially, what's a good first step for someone who wants to start a financial self-care routine, Brittany? Yeah, so the very first place I'm gonna say is do a financial checkup. Just like we would do a health checkup, yeah. same thing with our finances. <laughs> Look at our bank statements. Is there any things that we can correct? Yeah. You know, check our credit also, you can get a free credit report, annualcreditreport.com. <laughs> but, you know, knowing is just half of the battle. Yeah. Okay, that's good to know. And then saving money, sometimes it can feel hard. feels yeah. like you're kind of trying to save be on a diet, stick to a diet when you kind of want to splurge. So what tips do you have to help us save without feeling deprived? Yeah, so <laughs> we can do some things where we don't feel deprived okay. when it comes to our savings account. <laughs> but think of your savings account like a safety net. Mm -hmm. If something were to happen, our savings account is going to catch us. Yeah. So start small. Five hundred dollars. Yeah. Once you achieve that financial goal, set another one, a thousand dollars or more, and just have that payment automatically go to your savings account. Have it come from your payroll yeah. to your savings. Another cool step to use is the 50, 30, 20 rule. Mm -hmm. Fifty percent is going to go towards your needs. Thirty percent are your wants, yeah. and twenty percent is your savings. So you can still, you know, get some yeah. wants in there. You know, <laughs> your Starbucks or something. Yes but you're not gonna feel stressed at the end of the month and it's a plan to get you to start saving for yeah. those financial goals. I like that you said your savings is your safety net, not your credit card, you know, cause sometimes I kind of go that way, but it's the savings yeah, it's that the should savings. be the safety net, <laughs> not the credit card. Yeah. Okay, so what's your advice for making money management a little bit easier, especially for busy people who are always on the go, you kind of feel like you don't have the time to sit down and check your finances as frequently. Yeah, life is telling, taking me left, <laughs> right? It's hectic right now, yeah. you know, but Technology is going to be our best friend. Mm -hmm. Using technology, just as simple as going on social media, yeah. but we can set up automatic payments towards our credit cards. Mm -hmm. If we have that automatic payment, we're never going to be late on a loan, so we're not getting those late fees. Yes. <laughs> also, what about setting up all these different apps for your phones, budgeting apps? Yeah. Those apps can let you know, hey, if your balance is getting low, mm -hmm. you might need to slow down the spending. Yep. You can also use those apps for fun, yeah. making savings fun. Yeah take a little money every every Tuesday and Thursday. Mm -hmm. Transfer Tuesday, transfer Thursday. Put that money in your savings account oh, like for those that. financial things that you wanna achieve. Oh, I like that. Okay, helpful tips. Any final tips for our viewers today? Yes, so final tips. Mm -hmm. Make saving fun. Yeah. Give your finances a little TLC and just sitting down, looking at your finances, setting that time aside, just mm -hmm. having a positive attitude towards your finances you're gonna be amazed like different things that you're gonna see. Yeah. Having a little bit of knowledge about your finances, mm -hmm. the, you can get accomplish anything with your finances. Yeah. Just having that money set aside, putting it into a savings, mm -hmm. Make it fun. Yeah, and you, we always talk about every time we have schools first come on the show, don't forget to pay yourself. So even though we're looking at finances, factor in, hey, I'm going to go out sometimes this week, factor that in so you're enjoying the spending as well, too. Yes. <laughs> Take a little bit of pay, pay yourself first, just a tad bit, just every tad single bit. paycheck. There we go. Yes. Brittany, thank you for your help today. Thank you. All right, to our viewers, you can visit one of the many schools first federal credit union branch locations as seen on the screen. And you can find out more online by going to schoolsfirstfcu.org.